Hello everyone, this is Miss Rickfelder, and this is, video is also brought to you by my second period class. Say hello. Hi. Yay. So today we're going to be working on dividing multi-digit numbers, and we're going to be working with four-digit division by two-digit division. So we're going to start on this first page here. You want to set your page up exactly as you see it here. You want your title to be 6.ns.2, divide multi-digit numbers. And then we've got... Um, Find each quotient to two decimal places. I do want you to add the four digit by two digit. Um, all right, so as you can see at the top, I've added four digit by two digit. That's so that you know um, what the parameters are for this video because there will be three separate videos in this segment so that you know how to divide all of the numbers that you're gonna need for your assessment. So the problem that you see here is 8,966 divided by 35. And I've already um, given you a couple vocabulary words here. So you can see that the divisor is 35. That's what I've written in purple, divisor. And that the dividend is 8,966. So you want to label both of those pieces of this division problem. And you want to write everything that you see here on the screen. So I'm going to go through multiple screens to be able to work this entire problem out. But you'll just build on to what you already have. So you won't you don't need to um, rewrite anything that you've already written except for the problem piece. So that'll make a little bit more sense in a minute. So pause the video now so that you can write um, this first step here, which says, since you have a two-digit divisor, that's the purple, um, you need to look at the first two digits of the, of the dividend. So the reason we are looking at the 89 is because 35 is two digits. And then I've just given you a little reminder bubble here about how you divide. You're gonna divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So you want to pause the video so that you can get all this written down and then push play in a moment. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go to the next screen um, so that I can show you the first step of the problem. So the divide is going to be the 89 divided by 35. And so it's about two. What you want to think about is, you know, just that 89 divided by 35. And then 35 times two is going to be 70. So that's the multiplication step. So you're going to put the minus 70 under the 89. Then you're going to subtract 89 from set. You're going to subtract 70 from 89, and you are left with 19, and then you're going to bring the 6 down. So that should conclude the first step of the division problem. So now basically we're going to repeat the same steps again when we're looking at um, 196 divided by 35. So you'll see that on this next screen. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our next screen. On the next screen, you can see that I've asked you to repeat the same process. We have 196 divided by 35. So you can see here that I asked you to think about 19 divided by 3, and that 19 is close to 18, and 18 divided by 3 is going to be 6. So now you have 35 times 6. That's a little too much. That gave us 10. Um, I'm sorry, that gave us 210. And then you have 35 times 5. So now that gives us 175. So that's the one that we're going to work with. Then the next step we're going to do is to multiply that 35 times 5. So you can see that we put it in purple right up there in the top. 5 times 35 gives us the 175. And then you're going to do the next step, which is to subtract. So we're going to be subtracting 175 from 196. And we get 21 left over. And then you're going to bring down. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Too far. And then you're going to bring down. So that last step is where we bring that 6 um, down again. And now we have 216. So we're going to repeat the same process over and over again. So what you should be writing right now is the divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. You want to write that for each piece. You're only going to write this once. You're not going to do this on every single problem that you work on. But just in case you get stuck at some point and you forget, you need to go back to your notes. You have to see the step-by-step -step written directions. So we're just going to do this for one problem here. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the next step. They're all going to start the same. So we're going to start with the divide again. So now you have 216 divided by 35. So what you really want to look at, you're going to remember the work that you've already done. So let's go back really quickly to this previous page. Now, 216 is pretty close to 210. So I don't need to redo this work again because I already have 35 times 6 written down. So so you, should, you can refer back to the problems that you've already done. So now let's go ahead and go back to our problem here. We want to remember that 210 that we've already figured out. And we're going to go ahead and write 35 times 6 is equal to 210. Then we're going to subtract that 210 from 216. And then we're going to bring down. Now there's nothing to left to bring down. 
So since there's nothing left to bring down, we are going to add a decimal. And the way that I say it in class is our decimal decimal zero. You can see I did it in blue. I add a decimal up here in our quotient. That's the answer to the division problem. I add a decimal also in my dividend. And I do that so that I know where my original problem ends and my new decimal work begins. And then I'm gonna bring down. So decimal, decimal zero, you bring the zero down. And now you've got a new division problem once again, which is 60 divided by 35. All right, so now we're gonna look at our next screen. And again, remember we started with 60 divided by 35. We know that that's just gonna be 35 times one because remember 35 times two is 70, so that's too much. Then we're gonna subtract the 35 from the 60 and we're gonna bring another zero down that we've had to add. Now you wanna remember that in our original instructions, it said to divide, um, to find the quotient to two decimal places. So we need to continue on from here and we are going to divide multiply, subtract, bring down. So I want you to think about 25, which is close to 24, and the three in 35. The reason you're doing that is because you're trying to figure out how many times 35 can go into 250. So you wanna try 35 times eight, because remember three times eight is 24. So now you can see that I come up with 280. I should see this scratch paper work on your paper. So whenever you're working any of these division problems, I should be able to see where you tried a couple different numbers to figure out what number you need to multiply by to get the larger number. So 280 is obviously gonna be a little too much. So we know we now need to go 35 times seven. So 35 times seven gave me 245. So now I'm gonna do the multiplication step, subtract and bring down, as you can see here. We're gonna bring down another zero. Now, I put a little note here off to the side that you can see coming up. It says, must divide one more time to make sure we know the back door to round accurately. So what that means is, even though we only need that seven, that's where we're rounding the sevens place, um, we need to know what's behind the seven so that we know if the seven stays a seven or if it becomes an eight, just like we talked about when we were talking about rounding decimals. So when we add that extra problem, when we do the division one more time, we get a one there. So now we know our final answer all right, so I put another pencil on the page just to remind you that you should be writing all of these steps. You should be writing all the little side notes. And again, you're just gonna write them this one time um, for this one problem so that you can refer back to this if you have any questions. So now that we're finished with the problem, on the next page, you're gonna see the finished product here. So we're gonna underline the seven because that's the place that we're rounding. Then we're gonna draw the back door and then we're gonna draw the arrow to the back door. Number. And since it is a one, seven stays a seven. So up here at the top underneath number one, it says, what are the only two options? That's seven or eight. You can see right here that I'm talking about. You really should decide ahead of time what that seven can be so that you don't get confused when you're actually rounding. Because sometimes when there are a lot more numbers on the end, it can get confusing. So now because that's a one, the seven will remain a seven and the answer to this problem is 256.17. All right, so now that you're finished with the problem, let's go ahead and take a look what, at what I want you to do. Um, you can see now it's your turn. So what I'm asking you to do is on lined paper, go ahead and complete division worksheet A and you wanna check the answer key. So this division worksheet A should be on your Canvas page. You should be able to find the worksheet A and B actually, those are both already posted. And it should say, um, and actually this one says two digit by four digit. Let me fix that, hang on one second. Okay, now I fixed it. So at the top of your paper, the line paper that you're gonna be doing your work on, it should say four digit, two digit division, and then the letter of the worksheet, which is A. I believe there are eight problems, maybe 12, but I think that there are only eight. So you do wanna do the work for all of those problems and then check your answer key. If you got them all right, then you can stop there with that and you will be able to take the mini quiz on it when you come back to school. These quizzes are done in school because you could use a calculator at home, so we wanna just make sure that you're getting it done here correctly. And then um, if you did not get at least 80% of them correct, then you wanna go on and work on division sheet B as well for four digit by two digit. So hope this has been helpful and we are out. Say goodbye class. Bye.